Hello, my name is Tom Morris, and I'm here with Tom Stanziano, and together we are the sales team for Sea Changer. Thank you for viewing this video of the Plasma Nemo product line of Sea Changer. That includes the Nemo Profile, Nemo Wash, the Nautilus Profile, and the Nautilus Wash. So Tom, why is this video important? This will help in the understanding of the lamp source and the fixtures utilization as a dimmer, as a luminaire, and also as a color changer all rolled into one. The plasma lamp utilizes this little vial about the size of a Tic Tac, and it's filled with an argon mixture of gas and stimulated with radio frequencies. This lamp is embedded in a ceramic disc. Attached to it is a waveguide coming from the RF generator, which is located underneath the fixture. You will notice that there are no filaments in this lamp. There are no filaments to break, burn out, and there is no leakage of gas through the glass source. The lamp puts out 10,000 lumens of light at the cost of 320 watts approximately 31 lumens per watt of power. Color rendering index is 92. Lamp life degradation is in the low 90th percentile through the life of the lamp. Color temperature is 5200 Kelvin. So Tom, what are some of the energy aspects of the LEP lamp technology? As you mentioned, the NEMO uses 320 watts. That's 2.8 amps at 120 volts, 1.4 amps at 208. In comparison with a traditional 750 watt tungsten fixture, it uses half of the energy, but yet it's 15% brighter at 10,000 lumens. If you add in the 15,000 hour lamp life, the NEMO really lifts the limitations on the energy aspect of products in markets like theatrical, architectural, worship, entertainment, and broadcast. As we become more and more conscious of new technology, we have to be aware of the effects on the environment. The LEP technology does contain a small amount of mercury, about 2%, compared to a standard HID fixture at 100%. Under normal handling, the mercury vapor contained in the lamp poses little risk of exposure. The plasma lamp is Rojas compliant, does not contain lead or any other harmful materials. Due to the small amount of mercury, it also reduces the carbon emissions. Over the course of a year, the total carbon footprint is 538 picograms, where a 750 watt incandescent is 1176 and a 400 watt HTI is 19,744. Another advantage to the LEP is the lowering of AC usage in permanent installations. Because of the low wattage, the LEP generates less heat that equates to under 1,100 BTUs to the 2,500 BTUs created by the 750 watt incandescent lamp. The cost of operating the LEP is lowered almost immediately and significantly less over a five-year period compared to a typical 750-watt fixture. With any new technology, there's always concerns. Because we're using radio frequencies to excite the chemicals in the lamp, people want to know if it's safe. The NEMO has gone through extensive testing through ETL and has been approved. The frequency used for the radio frequencies is 440 megahertz, which emits less radiation than a standard cell phone. The lighting industry is seeing a shift from expensive, high wattage, inefficient fixtures that produce a lot of heat. They're going to more energy efficient, cost effective sources that produce less heat. In the past five years, we've seen this demand grow and has been mandated in certain building codes. Until now, LEDs have been a leading component in this movement. While both LED and LEP are solid state sources, LEP shares many of the same benefits as LEDs, but also has some fundamental differences. The key difference is the LEDs use solid state device for light generation, making it low powered and produces less heat, but are very inefficient. 
while LEP light sources actually use solid state devices to generate RF frequencies to power the lamp. LEP also shares the reliability and lifespan of LED and the ability to dim simultaneously. However, compared to the LED, the LEP has more light from one device. It also has a far higher color rendering index of 92 and better source efficacy. This limits the LEDs to certain applications. LEDs boast the long life of the bulbs, but in most instances, the LEDs lose intensity over time, and when the internal components fail, most units are unable to be repaired, resulting in the purchase of new equipment. The Nemo product line is warrantied for two years. If any component should fail, it can be repaired, making this technology sustainable for many years. So Tom, the amazing thing about the Nemo is that it's a light source, a dimming system, and a color changer all in one. As in all seat changers, there are four wheel positions, cyan, yellow, magenta, and in the case of the Nemo plasma unit, there is a dimmer wheel. The dichroic glass works by filtering out certain wavelengths of light to produce colors. A simple example of this would be the magenta wheel, where all the light is filtered out, with the exception of the blue and the red, which make the magenta. The tiger stripe patterning of the wheels are precisely manufactured with our patented process to interface with each other to introduce various saturation levels of color mixing controlled by the movement of the wheels via DMX protocol. This patterning scheme in combination with individual wheel control make it possible to move through colors without a swipe. So going from color A to color C, there is no transition through a color B. Since the plasma lamp has similar characteristics to an arc source, electronic dimming only fades the lamp down to 20%. So to go to full blackout, we use the fourth wheel position as a dowser wheel. Programming with the sea changers have become relatively simple with the help of lighting manufacturers. They've created fixture libraries that contain all of the DMX information needed to program with the sea changer. Some of the DMX information include dimming, color, and lamp controls. To download these fixture profiles, please visit your manufacturer's website. The sea changer Nemo profile uses a DMX block of six continuous channels. Channel 1, cyan. Channel 2, magenta. Channel 3, yellow, channel four, mechanical dimmer from zero to 100%, channel five, electronic dimmer from 20 to 100%, and channel six is your lamp on and lamp off function. To address the Sea Changer Nemo, it features a three digit LED display and corresponding panel buttons for numeric entry. Each button push increments the corresponding digit by one from nine back to zero. Addresses and functions programmed via the display panel take effect after a three second delay. This panel will show a decimal point if DMX signal is present. The decimal point will go out when the signal is not present or removed. After five minutes, the display will blank the digits, but the signal indicator will remain on as long as DMX signal is present. The display can be powered on by pushing any of the display buttons once while blanked. When connected to a suitable DMX controller, the Sea Changer Nemo filter wheel positions can be reset from the console by a two-step dwell and snap. All colors at 100% and the dimmer wheel at zero Hold for three seconds and snap all wheels to zero. Every lighting fixture has its ideal application, as does the Nemo plasma lamp. In the combination of the energy aspects, the 15,000 hour lamp life, the dimming control, and the color mixing, makes this fixture ideal for hard to reach installations, atriums, museums, and churches. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, 
please feel free to contact Tom Stanziano or myself, Tom Morris. Thank you. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for purchasing the Sea Changer Nemo. As you open the box, you will notice that the Nemo requires additional hardware. This would include the front barrel assembly, lens tube assembly, yoke, yoke bolts, C-clamp, and the power connector. The box itself, if it's palletized, the boxes will be 19 inches by 13 inches by 19 inches, and they'll be 28 on a pallet. If they are shipped individually, such as with UPS or Federal Express, the box dimensions will be 25 by 25 by 13. Each unit weighs 38 pounds. The Nemo manual is on CD included in the box or it is available online.